166 and a half, 75.5 kg, 11 stone 12 and a half. Max, do you want to go for a? Does Max want to go for a? Does Max want to go for a walk? Does Max want to go for a walk? Is that a yes? Is that a yes then? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, you want to go for a walk? What's going on guys? It is the 11th of February 2020, which means Valentine's Day is in three or four days. Or maybe a couple of days when you get to watch this actually. It might be two days for you. I sincerely hope you enjoy it if you are watching this and thinking, yes, I'm getting pussy. Anyway, my body weight today was the highest it's been in a long while. My body weight has actually dropped since I've been back at home. I stayed at my girlfriend's and uh, I like to smoke cannabis when I'm with my missus. It didn't really go well that because I started eating shit. I get the munchies, you know when you get the munchies, you start fucking rah, 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 scoffing stuff and then by the end of it you've ate like 5,000 calories in the space of like 20 minutes. So I've actually dropped weight since being back. However, since I have been back, this is the, the highest it's been. So I uh, fingers crossed it keeps going up because the last eight weeks or so I've been pissing about being the same body Body weight not really progressing and that transitions into my performance and it shows unfortunately so I can't stress the importance of gaining body weight and how that can transition into making progress you have to be progressively eating over time daily dose of max hey hello to the camera max you're right you're not miserable today are you you're not miserable yeah you're a miserable fucker ain't ya he, he's so independent he don't like anyone like you just sit here and he just get his teeth out of ya you just grab look at him fucking <laughs> Unfortunately, he's got no teeth left because he's getting a little bit old now. Look at that. Where's your front teeth, boy? <laughs> Yorkshire Terriers lose their teeth, apparently, um, quite quickly. So, um, yeah, you're getting old, boy, ain't ya? But I still love ya. When you don't like kisses, do ya? No. <laughs> my plan for today is going through my new split. I've got a new split that I'm doing right now, so I'll go in a little bit of detail later in the video as well. And I've also got legs to train today. My favourite session of the week is the Smith back squat, which I'll dive into as well later on in this video. If there's anything that you guys want to see, because I want to do a food challenge, I want to see. I want to do a food challenge in a couple of weeks or a week or so's time. What would you like to see? What would you like to see me do? I want to do something different. I don't want to do the same old stuff that I see on YouTube nowadays. I have done 15,000. I'm debating 20,000, but I'm thinking, really, have I actually you got to eat 25,000 calories is hard. Like just thinking about 20,000 calories is ridiculous. I know that that gets quite a good engagement and things like that. And don't, not often people don't do it because one, it's expensive. Two, it's fucking hard. I don't know what to do. If you've got any suggestions as well, let us know in the comments. So like I said, find the best mix of people and find their sweet spot. And just- Hardest decision of the day. Cinnamon cereal, milk chocolate. Mmm. 100%, 100%. Just ate my pre-workout meal. If you haven't watched my full day of eating or my recent one, make sure you, I'll link it up here for you guys to watch. What I have been doing lately, going for a little walk after my pre-workout because as I'm getting deeper into my off season and the food is getting higher, I'm finding myself feeling very lethargic and tired after eating my meals because I'm having a, quite a lot of chunk of food. Like, you know, that meal there was about 112 grams of carbs and I just feel very lethargic, tired. Like I can't be bothered to move almost. But what really does help, and I got this from AJ when I saw him up in, um, Rotherham when I went up to Isley Cup the other week. Actually going for a little bit of a walk after you've eaten just to kind of help regulate your blood sugar levels and not feel absolutely lethargic, tired, can't be fucked to do anything. So if you're similar in a similar situation like myself, I would definitely recommend trying going for a walk. Saying that, I'm debating whether to go for one now because it's very, very windy. And the other day on that storm Kier or Kier, whatever the fuck it was called, I got blown and I was pissed off because I was thinking, right, I must be the size of a child if I'm getting bloody blown here. I'm debating whether to go for a walk today because I just can't be fuck because it's so windy and I hate the wind absolutely hate it <laughs> I left my logbook at the gym the other day stupidly and the owner actually went through my logbook believe it or not and uh, wrote this little message for me now I know everything about you I have read your diary Chris and he also put a kiss which is a bit weird <laughs> but I write some weird shit in here like I write so I'm like come on uh, uh, some dreadful stuff like if someone stole my logbook they would look at it and think what the fuck is this kid about like this kid is nuts so Chris I know uh, you might not be you probably won't be watching yeah yeah, thanks for looking through my logbook and reading the shit that I've been up to because uh, <laughs> some of the stuff I've wrote is just terrible. Just just terrible. So I have my own little cupboard in the house for like my drugs and shit. I've actually got some in here as well. And then in here is where I stock 
all my protein, things like that. So I've, I've not really got much space to actually put anything. My mum calls this the drug cupboard because she thinks it's all drugs when it's just supplements really. And we're gonna go for the GOAT today of pre-workouts, MV Pre, Roadside Lemonade. My favorite all time pre-workout and as always links are down below if you want to purchase this make sure you use my code george10 at checkout and you get yourself a nice little discount but for everyone that asks is asks that is my favorite pre-workout hands down this one just walk into the gym now this is when i get really really nervous in my sessions i don't know why but something just comes over me and i have this like emotion towards my training where i actually get a little bit scared of doing some particular movements i don't know if anyone else gets that it's just a fear factor it's not like you're you're scared it's like Fuck, I have to do that particular load. I have to do that particular, I don't know, just something right now just makes me a little bit meh. You have to have confidence with that as well. You have to sell yourself. Actually, I believe in myself. I can do this. And today I'm gonna fucking do it, trust me. So, sit here for five minutes. Just go for my logbook quickly. And then I'll hop on the Stairmaster for five minutes just to clear everything out of my head and focus on that session. And with all my leg sessions, I always start off with the leg extension, seated leg curl, lying leg curl, and then the adductor and abductor just to warm up three or four sets. And then I'll go into it. So yeah, nuts. It's got to be on today. It has to be on. It really has to be on. No, you can't piss around with leg days. You just can't. So uh, yeah, we're going to fucking do this. So as many of you know, um, I was originally doing barbell back squats, but they stalled. They were just feeling shit, and it was doing my lower back no justice. So what I did is took them out, and then we're on to the Smith squats, which have been working really well at the moment. I've been able to progress them quite nicely. So plan of action is to run with these for as long as I can. Then when they start stalling, I can reintroduce the barbell back squat potentially. But these are feeling much better than the barbell back squat. I just couldn't connect with them very well. <laughs> So I definitely think this off season my uh, my legs have been the best progress so far, um, and the reason behind that is because they're the strongest. Like you know, I was squatting on the Smith machine, nearly four plates per side, never done that in my life. Leg pressing 470, never done that in my life. Split squatting, nearly three plates, never done that in my life. And it's just a re reoccurring thing. You need to be doing shit that you've never done before. And guess what, my friends? That's gonna transition into what you're gonna look like eventually so I, I think my leg progress so far has been down to just getting progressively stronger on these movements and just struggling to sleep at night and you know being very anxious of this type of stuff because it's scary man like I sit there all the fucking time and I sit there and think fuck can I actually do it and sometimes 
it doesn't happen. Sometimes it does happen. But all I say to myself is just keep going because end of the day, um, you can't be small for the rest of your life, you know? So keep going and just train heavy. One of the best sessions I've had in a long while. I felt really, really strong. Stronger than I've ever been, especially on that, that Smith Machine back squat and also the leg press. Never been that strong in my life. We're going in the right direction, which is nice. Got myself a water post-workout. Best way to get caffeine out of your system. I had a very dry mouth halfway through that session. As pre-workouts, caffeine gives me a crazy dry mouth. Don't know why, but um, it must be something to do with the caffeine intake. Best way to get your caffeine out of your system, drinking plenty of this. Try and flush it out as best as you possibly can. Um, so I'll go through quite a lot of water when I get home just to kind of make sure that it's out my system. I mean, I took the pre-workout about two o'clock, which is probably my main cap off for caffeine. I don't go anywhere above that. Like if I was training at three o'clock, I wouldn't have caffeine at all. Um, Cause caffeine has a half-life after every six hours. So if you consume, for example, let's say 200 milligrams of caffeine, six hours later, you're gonna have 100 grams, 100 milligrams of caffeine in there. So um, yeah, it's gonna stay in your system. People wonder why they sleep shit. Yeah, make sure I get plenty of water into it, get out of my system. And then also capping it off is my best bet as well. But yeah. I'm fucked. I feel like shit, but I feel good as well. Good shit, if that makes sense. Get me home. Get me some fucking food. And people staring at me. Someone's staring. Someone's just staring at me like I've never seen a camera in their fucking life. But they'll go home and watch a YouTube video. And you're watching me right now, so mm, strange. <laughs> That is a rest day cardio done on the old Stairmaster. 30 minutes as always. Not as fit as what I used to be. I used to do level 12. Uh, I start off at level eight and then I finish off with level nine for the, the last like 20 minutes or so. Difficult as you can see, I'm sweating like a motherfucker. I want to keep healthy. This obviously, I don't want to get like a fat fucking mess and not be able to move. This isn't, that, that isn't me. I like to function a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I want to be able to fuck the missus as she whispers in my ear. I can't cut that out. Uh, <laughs> just getting that ticked over, feeling good, and it's a good way to start the day for me because sometimes you start the day and I think oh, I can't be fun to get out of bed on the rest day. I'm sleeping a little bit, but if I know I have to go and do cardio, then it gets me up a little bit and uh, be more, a little bit productive, if you want to call it that. But yeah, 30 minutes still on the rest day, seems to be ticking me over nicely. Um, and I don't feel like shit, which is good. I don't feel like a fat mess. I actually can function, which is good. Evening guys, it is the currently the next day. Joined by Max, again, shock. I wanted to go through my new training split and just give you a rough idea where I'm currently at and the reason behind it. So my original split was a three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. So it was like a push-pull leg split, rest, push-pull, rest. And there used to be a, a Wednesday and a Sunday used to be my rest days. However, what I found over time is just, I wasn't being, I wasn't, I wasn't recovering. Really wasn't recovering. It just wasn't working for me. Going into some of my pool sessions or my, my deadlift sessions and just wasn't progressive. I'm getting to a point now where I'm getting progressively stronger. I'm needing more time off the gym. Like I'm not genetically blessed. Like for example, let's say Keefe, if he watches this, you can train every single day and to get away with it. I have to rest in order for me to progress. And so I'm taking more rest days now. My split is a push ball leg split, but it will be push, pu push legs. Fuck, I fucked it already and I push legs. I'm gonna literally stop it there, but I'm not gonna push legs off, pull, push off, Legs pull off. So I'm doing two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, one day on, one day off. And I'm having a, a rest day either side of my leg sessions because in all honesty, I fuck my legs up like nobody's business. Like to, I'm glad today is a rest day because yesterday I had that leg session and this morning I am fucking sore as anything or this evening I should say. Take advantage of the rest more often now, which I'm excited for and not excited for at the same time because I do love being in the gym and my rest days are, yes, I do work from home. So I do get a little bit bored, a little bit lonely at times. But if that is gonna make me progress my physique and make me perform better in those gym 
gym sessions and have more energy, then I'm definitely going to do so. So that's my current split. I'm excited to go for it. Excited for the, the change. Really want to bring up my back and just everywhere needs to improve. In all honesty, my back is one area which definitely needs to improve. So I'm excited to see with the leg pull session where I'm implementing back and legs together. That will be really, really good. So I'm excited to uh, put my head down and, and progress those movements quite nicely. If there's any questions regarding what I've mentioned in today's video, then of course, let me know. Please like, please subscribe, comment down below. Max, if you watch the whole thing, and I shall see you guys in the next one.